What is up? This is Darn doing a progress update on the studio. It is 11 o'clock in getting this place done and furnished. Don't know if you can hear, but it's raining. Nice little day in Ireland. The only main difference here is that I've lined all the holes and crevices, all the nooks and grannies, lined it all with duct tape. So no hair from anywhere can pop down and interrupt me. The next step is to line up there, where's my hands, there it is, up there behind that area. Line it with roof insulation the whole way down. And then, none there. And then this will be the stuff that I will be using to line the room. There's my fog lights. I've got like five or six things of them. Then over here I have fiberboard with lots of curtains. Got a bag full of curtains. I have probably about 10 to 12 panels of fiberboard there, all lined curtains. And I've got a big bag of roof insulation. A quarter to 12, quarter to midnight, as can be seen from our outside. Alright, so far I have I put up the basic thermal pad things. One, two, trois. Got to lay out the carpet. I have three carpets that were bought for, well, money. Mm -hmm. I am up on the top of the loft where I have put in my roofing insulation the whole way around. And just a pretty little view. It's like after midnight and it is currently bucketing out of the heavens if you can hear the rain. I did the math of this place using the old, the old foot technique where you count like that. I just thought I'd point out I may have miscalculated the size of this place slightly. I'm gonna get a feed, stick on a bit of the Big Bang Theory, then come back. I'll be hanging up these by nailing them onto a small piece of wood, hand cut, just like we did it back in the 16th century, or back when spring began. I'm gonna hook them on, put a nail straight through, keep the sheets looking pretty, and then I'm going to use CT1 industrial roofing glue stuff to hook it onto, to glue it onto those walls. I'm putting these bigger ones. I'm gonna sheet them up with one of my many, many, many sheets. Didn't bad from there. 3.47 a.m. Gonna get carpet, safety pins, and duct tape tomorrow, and then finish it, whatever. Anyway, that's it. This is basically night one. On day two of the big studio project, I've encountered some problems. There's gaps in there that lead straight to a window. This wall isn't strong. I've had to hold it up with a stick, which I'll show you now. That stick right there is holding up my wall so it doesn't fall back. I've got the carpet thing sorted out. Plenty, plenty of carpet. Another little, little insulation problem. Light. Where's my light? And autofocus is not helping me on this. Autofocus be my friend. Is that? That's a, it's a hefty gap that leads clean to outside. I've got that big ginormous gap up there. And then of course, the nice big bright, bright gap on the bottom. I'll see if we can get the roof and insulation stuck in to this big dirty corner over there. Alright, that is all from the LB Darn Super Project. Top of the morning, or night. Darn here, the sun is shining directly into my eyes. And it's like the 30th of June or July. And I came across another beautiful problem. Over in this gorgeous little corner, we have quite a lot of movement, stuff like this. Plus, there's a little mouse that likes to run behind these walls, and he eats my eats the fiberboard as that used to be behind the walls, and now he's like eating it. So he's running about there. We have a couple of birds' nests. There's one bird's nest there, and another one is up there. So we get a, quite a lot of birds wandering about. And then there's one at the very, very back over there, so I'm not a big fan of birds, but we're sporting the wildlife cause now. The 12th of July is today, so the lads have been out parading, and while they've been out doing that, I have a bit of the old 1-2 being done since like 10 o'clock this morning. Stuff that's been done since last time is I got a big dirty beam the whole way across the back wall, and then it's like strengthened there beside this, so it like can't move. And over at this corner, I've upgraded from the shtick, and I've got one of those L brackets. Same again at the top. And then strengthened up here is another little L bracket that goes around to the inside. I'm gonna have to fix the masking table out so like little insects and creatures can't run inside and join it. And inside 
all carpet down to the floor. And a little secret under all this carpet is more carpet. Yeah. Got most of it done, just have to stuck. Stick the stuff on the walls. Alright, so that is the crack. It's 90. It's going mad, it's going wild. Another day, another update. At the minute, I'm thickening up the insulation using. It, well, insulation, so that'll thicken up the sound. The sound will have to go through the tin, go to the roof and insulation, loft insulation, then it'll go through another thing of wood, and then it'll go through more roof and insulation, and then I'll have to go through a layer of air, and then go through fiberboard. And then I'll have to do the layer all the way around so all the corners are glorious and get him sorted. And on another exciting update, that section of the wall's been done, and that section of the wall's been done. Behind that wood is that type of insulation the whole way around the corners and the whole way up. I'm putting all the insulation behind that and putting it the whole way around the window. I had to undo like a million staple nails which were holding up this big lovely device here and unscrew the curtains with. A nice wee dandy screwdriver. This is him, Mr. Screw, pure manual. And then take off the blanket, the metal-y things again and the nails. And then once I get them up, that should be the actual soundproofing of the thing done. 31st of July. And I have filled in the windows with the loft insulation. I accidentally knocked out the window behind that and it smashed on the ground. But it was cool. That's today's exciting update. Anything else? No. Hello again, it's like the 3rd of August-ish today. That section of the wall is essentially finished. So I'm sticking up the fibre board up on the walls. Just stand over here. Camera's in low beta 2 ray. This bit of car fucking hardboard job here took forever to make because I had to get it to squeeze in behind that and behind that at the same time. And then make room for my leads. I've got a big extension lead. And that wall will be covered by next time. Yeah, that's really it. Hey, it's like the 24th of August. Uh, I haven't been in here working on this and like a week or two weeks because real life loves to happen and uh, so far I would have done anyway so I'm starting to get that wall lined up and I've run out of like wood and stuff to stick it to the wall so that's all I've got so far and then I have to put that curtain just lift it up and then hook it onto there so it'll be hooked the whole way across and then I'm putting up sheets and I've run out of ways of safety pins and stuff to hold them across that so at the minute they're just hanging same as I've got over there and then I've got that area just covered but again, I need more like safety pins and stuff to try and keep it all nice and tidy so all the fiberglass stuff, loft insulation, doesn't fly out because it's drastically unhealthy to the lungs. But yeah, I'm on the home stretch. Well, I don't have my video camera up today, so this is pure laptop recording. If you can see the keyboard. Yep. Anyway, I was like on the home stretch getting the studio done, and then I noticed. In the areas where the windows were, there started to be wet patches. See the way the color there, like changes? It's meant to be white. Then I put the hand down, and it's like soaking in the bad way. Shit. And then I decided, right, I'm gonna get a couple of wee convection heaters about to try and dry it up. And then I decided, then I put my hand further down, and it was still really wet. So I decided to whip off one of the things of the walls. The rain has been getting in from outside, like a fucking hallion. And it's been like seeking through the bits because it's, it's the windows weren't put in like a house, it was just put in like a shed. You know, so you can see out through the walls. And if you actually look really close, you can see mold. And I'm raging because that means I have to take like all the window area down and get dry it all up and shit, and then get rid of the fucking mold because that's like a really bad health thing. Yeah. Um, so now I'm fighting mold while I'm on the home stretch of getting this thing done. Mold. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Yo, it's the next day from yesterday. So it's like the fourth. Uh, yesterday I found the mold, like right before I had to go to work. And then today I have to go to work in like an hour. But, like, that's not as bad as it was yesterday because we had a heater going out for a couple hours. There, well that's damp and there is mold on it. And then this one is like by far the freaking worst. You can see all that. And then this sheet, I'm not sure actually sure why that why I put that sheet up there, but it's like nailed in behind this. So I'm gonna have to like cut that out and it's like stinks of damp and there's mold on it. So I'm like got it. This is the this is the full shot of the studio now. This is where dreams get broken. Ten out of ten raging on the mold scenario. And then I've got 
the actual wall things over here drying. Yeah, I've got them out there because I need fresh air, so I like have to go to work in like an hour. Ho ho! Ho. Alright, so that's my fun, fun update. And then I'm going to Amsterdam in a couple of days, so I won't be here for like four or five days. Alright. Over now. It's September 6th ish. Yeah, I know it's September 6th, and it's like after 2 a.m. And I'm in the middle of ripping down basically everything to see how far this fucking mold has went. Just a wee image to see what the floor is like. Ripped out the material where the mold was, particularly there. And then it was like soaking underneath so I had to remove layers of insulation so that I could fucking clean it. And then I'm filling in the gaps thing. Filling in the... Oh, what do you call it? I'm filling in the edges around like fucking everywhere. And then over here... The mold was fucking insane over there, and it kind of goes more that way, but it's pitch dark and I can't see shit outside this room. So I'm going to have to move those lights. And then the mold, like, spread way up here. And then I had to take this down to see how far it did spread, but it just went onto the wood. So I have to give that a full fucking scrub tomorrow. Or, yeah, whenever I get up. But now I'm going to go to the other side of that and rip off the insulation so I can see how bad it is. I leave for Amsterdam in 30 hours, that includes two nights sleep, so that's like a lot of, that's good bit of sleeping, and then I need to get this shit done.